she just soaks in everything around her now. Her odds were against her from the beginning. I named her Harvey after Hurricane Harvey. Devastating flooding because of the speed at which this storm is moving. It was getting bigger and stronger and moving closer. We made it through the hurricane okay, but then the flooding is really what destroyed our, our city. My husband noticed there was a little cap in a puddle of water in our pasture that was starting to flood. My husband went out there and just came right in the laundry room and laid her down. The first thing I did was try to get her warm. She was shaking, she was wet, her mouth was ice cold. Her body temperature was extremely low. I told our friends that were here, you know, she's probably not gonna make it, don't get too attached. I made a call to Celie's vet. She told me just to let Celie come in. Celie didn't have a mom and Celie was abandoned. It was the same thing that Harvey was going through. It just made sense to let Celie in the laundry room. She immediately went over there and started licking her face, kind of like her mom would do. Her little eyes opened. She just really stayed by her side. Celie made Harvey feel safe. So I let all seven dogs in. And they all took their turn, just kissing her and smelling her. She slept right here in the laundry room. And there was one store that was open. My husband drove about 20 miles so we could get milk for her. She totally trusted us. She didn't know any different. Ended up taking her to the vet a couple of days later. They suggested that I kept her in the laundry room or in the house just because she had no immune system. We just let her in and just walk around and hang out with the dogs. She had so many odds against her and she just kept beating them. Harvey got her fighting spirit from Celie. Celie's story is, is just so similar. The Sealy Police Department had found a litter of puppies on a dirt road, and they actually found Sealy on the hot concrete. She had little burn marks all over her paws and even one on her chin. There was a huge concern with the puppies not making it. Sealy just had a strong will to survive. She has no fear at all. She just loves life. Seely helped Harvey just trust people and other animals. After the hurricane came through, we let Harvey out in the front yard. I think she was probably confused, thinking she was one of the dogs. Her personality really started coming out. Harvey would kind of butt her head on Seely's tummy to try to get milk. And Seely was so tolerant, she just let her do it. I knew that she was gonna be okay. There's not a day that Celie and Harvey don't get to see each other. The relationship was more like a mother-daughter type, but now that Harvey's getting bigger, it's turning into more of a friendship. She loves her milk. Celie loves her milk, too. <laughs> Harvey just turned six months old, so Harvey spends most of her time outside. Okay, that's it. She just loves to be brushed. There you go. You ready for your photo shoot? Celie and Harvey, they're gonna do a calendar to raise money for Fort Bend Pets Alive, which is an organization that supports our local shelters. It's just kind of like a full circle. Now my little rescues are helping. <laughs> so pretty. So pretty. eventually come out here, graze and hang out with their other cow friends. Out of all the cows, Harvey is the most interested in Roxy. My son showed her for 4-H. After we were done showing Roxy, I just didn't want to not know where she would end up. It just really started getting to me. So at that point, I was like, just let this herd live and, and be happy. 
Roxy seems to really be interested in Harvey. And Harvey, she's still a little shy, but I think that's gonna be the first relationship whenever Harvey moves out to the pasture. It's really cool to see her explore. Come on. Harvey and Celie are always gonna have just a special bond and relationship. They found each other and they just love life. She seems to be pretty happy. Letting her go is gonna be a little tough, but if she's happy, then I'm happy. Here we are six months later and she's healthy and she's thriving. I cannot get over this little calf that was almost dead in my laundry room. She actually beat all of those odds and here she is.